In this training video, we are going to show how to customize Metastock Zenith's News Monitor app to show the information that matters most to you. Let's open up a News Monitor. Let's go to the Zenith menu, to My Apps, and News Monitor. The News Monitor will populate with the active symbol. In this case, we have Apple. The source, attribute code, and RIC are listed in the columns next to the headline. You can hover over the source to view the full name and click onto the RIC to get a real-time quote. It's easy to remove these columns from the news monitor display if they are not relevant to your workflow. Select Options and then the Settings tab. You can uncheck any of the items that you do not want showing in the news monitor display. Let's remove display ricks and display source. You can also read news stories in a separate window rather than having them fill your news monitor display. Let's review some of the other settings. You can change the number of rows for top headlines and the number of rows for headlines. You can change the height of the headline rows as well as the size of the text using the slider bar. You can also change the color of the headline, top headline, and alert headline, background, and text. You can further customize the display by selecting the Filters tab. You can toggle between news displays, including news wires, showing real-time headlines and stories from a variety of sources, and Global Press, which are published articles from an international selection of magazines and journals. The search mode option indicates whether to search by headlines or to search the entire story. Click onto options again to close the menu. You can also print the list of headlines by selecting the stacked bar icon and selecting print. Thank you for joining me today on how to customize the Metastock Zenith's News Monitor app.